Uh, my name is Dustin Harris. I'm with the systems engineering team here at Caminario. It's a real pleasure to be here uh, speaking to Storage Field Day today. So I wanted to give you a story about uh, one particular customer. This is a, a, a personal customer of mine, um, really great company. They're called Clearwater Analytics. They're a software as service provider for uh, investments and, and asset management. They have thousands of customers. They're based in Boise, Idaho, uh, with offices in New York and in the UK. Now, when we first met Clearwater Analytics, uh, you know, one of the first things you notice is a very fast-growing company. And their challenges were related, of course, to I.O. bottlenecks, as you might imagine. That's why we were there. Now, their legacy storage, uh, which was NetApp, was causing them to have significant delays and an important part of their process every day, a reconciliation process. Now, I won't pretend to be an investments uh, not, uh, expert, but I do know storage, and they were struggling with very high latency, very low throughput. And what this is causing problems for them is bumping into SLA windows, as you might imagine. Reporting times take a long time, they have promises to their customers, and they're getting very, very close to those limits. And that's a risk if you start late on your reconciliation, if it takes longer than you expect, um, this is a real impact. Um, they also had a dev test environment they were very concerned about. Now ultimately, of course, the reason why I'm speaking about them is they did select Caminario. The performance, which we'll show, is very, very good, but I do want to emphasize that it's cost per gig in the end that really helps to sell. And this is um, something I've noticed from being in storage for a very long time, for being at Caminario now for two years, is we're talking about cost per gig that is displacing primary storage. There's no reason to think about hard drives for primary storage. So the, ultimately the solution for Clearwater Analytics is three environments. They have a production, a DR, and a test dev system. So the production and DR systems, as you might imagine, one they have in, uh, in Idaho, one at a DR facility. They use SQL uh, server and log shipping for those. And the dev test environment that sits in their Boise office. Now what happened when they implemented the Caminario? Well, first, first and foremost, the most important uh, product side was the reconciliation. We dropped that by 75%. And I'll show you in the next slide exactly how that happened, but it has a lot to do, of course, with latency. They also had a number of long-running reports that they had in their environment, drop those by 65%. And right now, with their dev test environment, they're automating it using our RESTful API and PowerShell. What they're doing is actually providing for their developers and for QA the ability to check out the database, a copy of production from, say, this morning at 8 a.m. So they're running, they're testing, they're able to do QA with real customer data from as, you know, as, as early as this morning or only a few hours ago. And the benefit here as well is they're using our snapshot and replica technology. Replicas are writable snapshots. By doing that and having multiple copies of this environment, they don't take up really much extra space, as we'll go into on the architecture and how our snapshots work. So um, it's very, very simple to deploy. They did not have to do any sort of tuning. They've got a mixture of reporting, uh, sort of OLAP style, high throughput. They also have a lot of interactive um, uh, access to the storage for their customers. Their sales teams have noticed as they're doing these interactive reports with their customers that they're much faster. And they're uh, extremely happy. There was a, a question earlier about is it data growth or new things moving on? Um, you know, I was emailing with uh, uh, Clearwater Analytics yesterday and they were talking about how they had an internal customer who had a, a long running report, 11 hours, moved it to the Caminario, it now runs in four hours. And they didn't have to do anything else other than move it to the K2. So they've been very, very satisfied with it and uh, looking forward to many years of, of happy success. Now this is my favorite graph. Uh, I, I use this when talking to other customers. And this is provided by Clearwater Analytics. This is latency as measured by the database. So this is everything from the array all the way up through the stack. Now it might be a little hard to see in the back, but this is a two week timeline. And you can see as their days go, how they have these peaks in latency. This is 50 milliseconds. This is over 200 milliseconds if it goes off the screen. Now these are daily averages. So you're talking about sustained 
high latency. So this, that, that's on their legacy disk base. <laughs> this is on their legacy disk array. Yes, this is a, on a legacy disk they array. Because if you had response, a average response time of 200 milliseconds for yeah. the whole day? Yeah. Well, for a portion of the day. So uh, this is, that's probably about you know, at least 15, 20 <laughs> minutes right in that period. So this is pain. Yeah. This is what pain looks like, right? <laughs> so over here, uh, the red arrow is where they implemented the Caminario. So it almost looks like maybe they just went out of, you know, quit business Percocet. and shut everything down. But this is, uh, this is low latency. That's the, that's the part that they've really enjoyed. Taking all of this IO bottleneck out and dropping to low latency is what, how you cut hours out of reporting time and how you have that consistency for all the different applications. Any questions on that? The array which was in use, that was also a flash-based array or? This is a, no, this is a legacy, a, a NetApp array. I don't believe they had any flash in it. So this is definitely a worst case <laughs> scenario. You're talking about legacy. But they were looking, you know, they were, the, the choices they were looking at is to upgrade the NetApp array, maybe <laughs> add flash, more shelves. And then they went out and they looked at many, many different competitors, decided flash was the way to go. They already experienced with it a little bit, you know, with PCIe. You know, this is maybe 18 months ago, <laughs> but by um, when they saw what we could do and the price point we could bring it in at, um, it ended up being a, uh, just a really great win-win for, for all so of us. From a capacity on disk perspective, and you consider that uh, that new application they tossed into there, and hey, we moved over there. Do you have a comparables as to it consumed this much capacity on the legacy <laughs> solution, and now it's consuming this much capacity because? We get flash is fast. I mean, we're all we're all willing to agree that if you go from legacy disk to flash, it's going to be fast. Your response time so is so stipulated. Be through the roof. Yes, but when it comes to you were consuming this much disk before, and now with the with your hard and fast numbers, which are amazing, I, I love that. You know, uh, the, the the price points you have there, that's perfect, especially if you're able to leverage the the dedupe rates and ratios to be able to say you consume this, and now you consume this. Mm -hmm. Any insight into that, and if not from them, so, somewhere so else? I, I would answer it. Um, what, what the average that we've seen with Philips is 5.9x debt reduction, and I will show some slides ago sure. regarding different environment and different debt reduction. Yeah, so Perfect. it's a really great question. I wish I had that data. I could probably dig it up. It doesn't have to be for them. If you have yeah. it's we have, we have very you, we have very detailed analysis on different environments and, different and, workloads, how much, yes, and workloads. And the type of data reduction, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, uh, it's, it's how you get an all-flash data center. And it's all about economics of, of, of going 100% uh, all-flash mm -hmm. uh, data center. And that's, and that, and that's part of uh, um, Shahar's presentation. Yes, and uh, cost efficiency is much, much beyond data reduction. There are sure. many other elements. Mm -hmm. So obviously they are taking advantage of our data reduction. It's primarily database use, so compression is the primary benefit uh, to Clearwater Analytics. So when they moved to some <coughs> this particular application, uh, how contended was the array before? And what, when they moved it to your platform, how uncontended was it because it was all a brand new platform and empty? So you're asking, let me make sure I understand the question. So the old, what happened with the old array when they well, moved the data got, if, if the old array was very busy and had lots of other workload on it, and um, no surprise, it, it, there would be a lot of contention going on. If they move, if they move just that one application to the new target array with nothing else going on, uh, this Greenfield platform. This was a. This else. is sort of their core hmm. application. It so wasn't. It wasn't a case of we've picked one application out of a very busy array and put it on a very quiet array. No, I wouldn't. It say It was so. already mixed. It's very busy. Yeah, and we've we've seen instances in other customers where they move that busy piece off. Certainly, it makes the older array a little bit happier. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the target one, the fact that if yeah. there's nothing running on that one, it, yeah. you're always going to get good response. Well, when we you know what, when we go through the live demo at the end, one of the things I want to show you is our ability to to not just do one workload but many. Yeah. So so hopefully that <coughs> address some of that in a on an actual running system. So.